Hi, welcome back to Grid Gym. Today we're talking shoulder health and bench press. And what we're really going over is the difference in bench pressing from here to here and back up. If we only get to about right here and drive back up and finish that lift off versus coming all the way down past the shoulder, Essentially what's happening is you have your humerus bone that's sitting up inside all of these structures up in the shoulder that kind of poke out like that, right? That's all sitting up in there and it's all jiving. You have all these other muscles that come up and wrap around the front of that humeral head to pull around and create the movement at your arm, right? So when what that happens, by going that little extra bit, we actually develop, well, we maybe not develop, but we can develop some irritation at the front of the shoulder. Now, people with really durable shoulders aren't going to experience this, but people with even uh, a slight bit of, uh, it's called your acromion, and different people have different types of chromium, uh, acromiums. And if you have the type of acromium, like me, that causes a lot of shoulder irritation, or that is more prone to shoulder irritation, then going past that little bit, going that extra two or three inches for most people is gonna eventually cause a lot of discomfort in the shoulder, a lot of pain and discomfort can develop into an injury. Now, the gain of going that extra two or three inches is very small. Now, we don't think too much of this when we're talking a board press or a towel bench or whatever you wanna call it, but, uh, we do think a lot of it, uh, of it very negatively when it comes to squatting. If you see people doing partial reps, they get a lot of hate, right? Well, if you see people doing partial reps with dumbbell bench, they get a lot of hate. But the contention that we are making here is that that last few inches just doesn't have a huge benefit versus the cost that it could provide. So the return on investment is very low and the risk is very high. That doesn't make for a very compelling argument for the case of going super deep on your dumbbell bench. Now, if you want to save your shoulder a little bit, all you're doing is you're taking that elbow down to torso. Don't let it go clear back. What happens is this happens. You end up dumping that shoulder forward like that. All those attachments up front kind of push. The, the bones and all the structures push against all of that soft tissue up front. Eventually, they start to get a little ticked off. Injury ensues you're out of exercising and having an injury. Remember, health is your number one resource on this earth. Take care of your body. If this is something that you see that you are doing on a regular basis, it is just not worth the risk of taking your shoulder to that extreme, and it's a very simple fix.